Hey, what's up guys? Dino Gomez here with Dynamic 365. So we're over here and we are looking at super basic keyword research. Uh, we're gonna run through this as fast as possible, show you guys how to do basic entry level SEO keyword research. All right, so let's get right into this. Uh, front and center we have uh, Michael Jordan hitting a game winning baseline jumper when he's at North Carolina because MJ is the man, all right? Uh, but we have some other sports references for you guys here. Let's get right into this. All right, so when it comes to SEO, uh, keyword research is where you win and lose the battle. All right, this is, this is where you have to pick your battle. It comes down to the keywords that you actually select uh, for yourself or for your client uh, that you're gonna try and rank. And basically, you can it determines whether uh, you know, this is going to be a long-term SEO client, whether you're going to get the results um, that you desire. It's all based on the keywords that you select. So keyword research is absolutely huge in SEO to your success. All right, so what we have right here is we have Floyd Mayweather, um, and we have him. I have no idea who this guy is. He's, he's knocking out right here. Uh, but the reason I'm showing this photo is because Floyd Mayweather, he does an awesome job of choosing his battles. All right. So earlier in his career, he you know he fought um, you know a, a lot of the top fighters, a lot of the top boxers. You know, as he's starting to get older here, you, you know everybody's been talking about it too. He's been very selective with the people that he fights because you know he knows this is this is his last year in 2014 here or going into 2015. Uh, right now he's 47 and 0, but the, the only people who'll fight he knows are people that he can can well for sure beat. Uh, because you know he wants to finish his career undefeated. So that right there, we're going to reference to SEO and your keyword selection. You know, you got to pick keywords that you know that you can get to the first page of Google. Uh, that is the entire strategy here. Okay. All right. So let's look at a couple general rule, a uh, couple general rules of thumb. Sorry. So when it comes to these actual keywords, and and sometimes you just call them keyword terms. Um, you know, the more words there are in a phrase, the easier it is going to be to rank. Okay, uh, so that's kind of that's kind of basic. But if, if the search term is very very long, if it's something um, like San Diego, and we're going to use dermatology in this example, but if it's like San Diego dermatologist that has affordable pricing, that would be a very long search phrase. That's going to be easier to rank than something like just San Diego dermatologist. All right, so less words in a term. The um, the more search volume. So on the flip side, San Diego dermatologist, that's going to have a larger search volume than San Diego dermatologist with affordable pricing. Okay, so you guys kind of understand that the smaller the keyword phrase, the more search volume. So what you're looking for is you're looking for a combo of short and long tail keyword phrases that have high search volume um, and low search volume. And that way you're going to have keyword phrases that are both going to be easy to rank, uh, more difficult to rank. You're also going to have keyword search phrases in your campaign um, that, are, that have higher search volume and some that have lower search volume. But mixing that up so you have both long and short tail keyword phrases, that's what you want to do when you pick out um, you know, a series of keywords for your client. So what you're looking for, though, is what we call gem keywords. So gem keywords... They have a, a large search volume, um, but they might have many words to the phrase. So it's kind of the best of both worlds, you know, because the more key, uh, you know, the more um, keywords in the actual phrase, the, the less competitive it's going to be. And, and if it still has a lot of search volume, uh, that's what you're looking for. So if we're looking for those gem keywords. We're going to give you guys a couple of real life examples here in a second. Okay, so how do we do this keyword research? Where do we start? Uh, it starts with understanding, you know, your, you know, the website you're trying to rank. So if, if it's your own website, or if you're doing SEO for a potential client, uh, you got to understand their service and products, and you really, really have to understand the psychology of why somebody would be looking online for that service or product. All right, and so you want to check out your uh, client's competitors' website. You want to look at keywords that they're using on their website to get some ideas. And then the way you're going to get started is you're going to run over to Google's Keyword Planner. You're going to start typing in a couple ideas. You're going to start brainstorming. Uh, Google's Keyword Planner is going to give you some uh, additional ideas and options. Uh, 
Um, and then uh, we're going to show you guys this other tool called, I mean, I call it Suve. I have no idea how to actually pronounce it, but Solve Suve. Uh, we're going to show you guys this other keyword tool. It is free that will help brainstorm and give you guys some other some other options. All right, so let's take a look here. Let's go over here to Google. The example we're going to use is we're going to do, let's just say your client is in the business of selling, um, uh, you know, like a face cream that removes moles or otherwise it just removes moles. So like it's a mole removal cream. Okay, so yeah, your client has this special, um, you know, this this special product because they're, they're in dermatology and it helps people remove moles and skin tags. Um, so that is kind of like the main, you know, keyword phrase, so to speak. That's mostly their product. So what you do is you'd come over here to Google and you type in keyword planner. You're going to click this first result. And I'm already logged into Google. If you guys aren't, it, Google will ask you to uh, you know, provide your username and password. Once you're logged in here, you're going to click to look for new keywords and add group ideas. And so this is where we'd start brainstorming. And, and you want to throw in about three or four ideas here, um, what you think some possible keyword phrases might be. So mole removal cream, um, mole removal uh, solution how to remove moles maybe that's something people are, are typing in when they're in the business or of looking for a removal cream we have a couple ideas click on get ideas right there so what what Google's gonna do here they're gonna come back with the actual search volume of these phrases we typed in and they're gonna give us a lot of other ideas um, this is still Google's AdWords tool. It's not actually an SEO tool, so keep that in mind as well. Um, the results are going to come back in ad group ideas, but you're going to want to click right here on keyword ideas. Okay, so what we're seeing right here, one, two, three, these are our three starting ideas. And we can see the search volume associated with each of them. So mole removal cream, it's actually searched, uh, that's, that's a pretty high search volume, so to speak. Um, 2,900 is, is fairly good. How to remove moles also has 2,900. Mole removal solution only has 10 searches, and this is per month, so only 10 searches per month. Now what Google does for you, if you scroll down, they give you other keyword ideas by relevance, and that's why you want to type in a few ideas to start with, is that Google will, will have the ability to give you even more ideas. You can scroll down here and here's all these different possible other keyword terms in their search volume. If you want, you can click right here and you can sort all of this by search volume. So now the largest related keyword phrase is at the top, mole removal at, at 18,100 searches a month. Okay, so people are typing in how to remove a mole, mole removal cost. So you're getting a bunch of ideas of what people are searching for when they're looking for some type of mole removal cream. Okay, so what you can also do is, you know, you, you look at a couple keywords, you think those might be good keywords. You can grab one, like this first one we had, mole removal cream. Yeah, and you can take that over to Google. And what we're doing here is we're kind of looking at competition. Uh, but you can also scroll down and Google is going to give you more related search phrases. So people are looking for the best rem mole removal cream. Uh, mole removal home remedy. Okay, so there's a phrase we might not have used is just to call it a home remedy. Uh, there's also people are looking for laser mole removal and they want to know how does it, does it actually work? They're looking for reviews. So all this stuff, mole removal home remedy, I could then take this phrase and I could copy it and I could go back over to the keyword planner and I could add this in copy and paste it in and click get ideas and so mole removal home remedy 320 searches okay so not as much as the cream but nonetheless this might be a good longer tail keyword phrase uh, we could do some research and find out if it's if it's very competitive to rank okay so let's say we want to do that we want to know mole removal home remedy is that a competitive phrase 
Well, we come back over here to Google. And if we're looking at mold removal cream, we can see that there's 175,000 web pages out there who basically use this phrase or a combination of these words on their website. So 175,000 potential competitors. So let's compare that to mold removal home remedy. Well, it went from 175,000 to 111,000. So as you can tell, this is less competitive. So that makes sense. It's less competitive, mold removal home remedy, less competitive, but it also drives less traffic, 320 compared to uh, 2,900, okay, um, 2,900. So that's why it's less competitive. Uh, it doesn't drive as much traffic. Now, if you're picking out keywords for your client and you're going to go after 10 or 20 keywords for them, you know, you want a combination of the tough phrases and the less tough, the less competitive phrases, you know, the phrases that are going to drive a lot of traffic if you if you get them to page one and um, and the ones that are going to be easier and faster to get to page one because they are less competitive. So you, you want the combination of tough, of difficult and easy there. Okay, so that's how you get a couple different keyword ideas. You use the, the keyword planner tool, you look at search volume, you, you look at other related keyword phrases, you start typing some of those into Google and you scroll down and you look at even more suggested related searches. Yet, and there's still one other tool we want to introduce you to. This is free, this is relatively new. I haven't seen anyone else in the industry really talk about it or use it. Uh, like, like I said, I think it's, I think it's Sulve or Solve, uh, whatever it is. It's pretty sweet. You just type in, uh, you know, whatever your key potential keyword phrase might be, and it's going to let you know what other related searches there are at all these other sites. So, uh, mole. If we just do mole removal, we're going to get all these other ideas from different search engines. So on YouTube, people are looking up mole removal apple cider cider vinegar, uh, mole removal surgery, mole removal on face before and after. And so these are all great ideas because if you see something like this, um, you know, like like we said at the start, you want to understand the psychology of why people are searching for something like this. So uh, mole removal on face before and after, you might decide to do a case study for your client before and after. You know, ask them if they have a case study and, and write a blog post on it for them because that's going to drive traffic. Um, Let's look at some other ones. Mold removal at home, mold removal surgery, mold removal kit. So this is how you get some other ideas. You just come over here to, uh, we'll call it Sulve. Uh, you type something in, you hit the button, and you're going to get some different ideas. Um, you know, mold removal home remedy. We, we went over that one. But uh, mold removal on neck. So maybe you write a blog post about how to get rid of moles on your neck, or you, or you have your client write that who's a specialist. That's how you get some ideas on different keyword phrases, guys. This is how you check out the actual search volume. Um, now, what we'll show you in a more detailed uh, video in the future is how you actually, you know, do some competitive analysis. You you got to better understand if it how easy it is to get to the first page and and how to uh, scope out and scout out your competitors so you know if you have them beat. All right, so we're going to show you guys all that in another video. Uh, that's what we have for you guys right now on super uh, entry-level basic keyword research. All right, so we're out of here for right now. Uh, this is me and some buddies at, at the beach, desktop background. But, um, but yeah, that's all we have for you guys right now. We'll see you guys in the next video. All right.